No, you, wow, oh my god! Whoa! I flushed her down the toilet on accident! Happy New Year's! Oh my god! And guess what? What? The final stage of Osana's... The final stage of Osana's development is here? Wow! Let everyone pop the champagne. Look at it. See, I did it. Pop that champagne. Why is Ginka kicking the door down? My god. Osana is about to get in trouble. It is so close we can taste it. I mean, you would think by the title of this that Osana is done, which I te technically she is. <laughs> Yandere Dev put out a video and a new build. Yes. My beautiful subscribers, how is your new year treating you? It's been one day. So what better way to kick off than some Yanjeri simulator? I've got good news about Osana. At this point in time, Osana is functionally complete and I'm currently testing each one of her elimination methods to make sure that everything is working properly before she is released. As I test each method, I'm fixing every bug, exploit, or janky looking thing that I find. No, just leave them in! Leave all the bugs in! I need bugs! The bugs sustain me! How are we supposed to do bug hunter with no bugs, man? Like, it's gonna be really weird actually playing Yandere Simulator with no bugs. I, I don't mean that as an insult. It, it might sound like one if Yandere Dev is watching. But they literally have, like, really brought so much joy to me and, and many other people. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of one of those things, you know? Can you just intentionally make a really, really buggy build of Yandere Simulator on purpose and just set it aside? That way I can just have fun with it. On Monday, our objective is to steal Osana's phone use it to take panty shots, and then tell the guidance counselor that Osana has been taking lewd photographs of her classmates. To steal Osana's phone, we'll have to splash her with water so that she leaves her phone unattended in the locker room while she changes her clothing. It's so the weird not doing this to Coconut John. Osana with water is to obtain a bucket. Right away, I can tell that somebody who is playing Yandere Sim for the very first time with no prior knowledge of the game could get confused or frustrated here. What is a bucket? <laughs> We're living in 2020 for God's sakes. Who uses buckets these days? That's so old. When I need to scoop water, I just use my new, my app. I use an app for that. How would they know where to find a bucket? There is a bucket in one of the girls' bathrooms, but there's no good reason why it's in that bathroom specifically. So I decided to put a bucket in every bathroom on the first floor. More, more buckets! buckets, more buckets. buckets. <laughs> I just realized how absurd it is that I'm making a video about more buckets! <laughs> Are you enjoying more buckets? Yandere Dev in his presidential election said, when I become president, we're gonna have more trees, we're gonna have more bushes, and more buckets! <laughs> An anime waifus for all! And I updated the scheme text to say so. Oh, so they Next. actually- Can you actually do some of the schemes now? Oh, they I wanna to do that. a bucket over a door that Osana will walk through. I did that it would be a better idea to teach the player the mechanic of leading students Oh to yeah, so yeah, you can giggle now. This is basically- It's like MGS. Tract. If you guys have never played uh, Metal Gear Solid before, amazing franchise. Very, very good. Now, if you don't know, it's much like that. Uh, I'm not saying it's like ripping it off or anything. I'm not trying to give off that impression, but it's very essentially the exact same thing. In that game, you have to go up against a wall and knock on it to make a noise. Well, in this one, you just make a psycho noise. <laughs> that noise exactly. And obviously, that's supposed to be weird, you know? Like, I think about it. If someone made that noise, I would look. I would at least look. I don't know if I would <laughs> walk over. Hey, what was that? And then I just walk over there. But it's video games. They don't have to make sense. You can only place a bucket above a swinging door. A first time player wouldn't know this. And could yeah, get I didn't know this. Trying to place <laughs> I'm, I've been playing this game for years and I didn't know this for a long time. So I decided to update the text to specify that it must be a swinging door. Yeah, see, that does save people. Now that a bucket time, has been yeah, placed over nice. the door nearest to Osana, the player has to lure Osana over to it with giggles. But Osana keeps spotting me because these spherical bushes don't provide <laughs> enough cover. How annoying. <laughs> that is if annoying. It's frustrating me. It'll definitely frustrate a new player. So I decided to replace those bushes with large hedges. Bigger bushes! Pop the champagne again! We're doing New Year's all over again. Woo! Bigger bushes! If I got a bush, I like it. Big. What's that little swamp bush? 
Get out of here. Give me big bush. Wait, bush for president? Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Now that Osana has been splashed with water, it's time to steal her phone and take a panty shot with it. While doing this, I discovered a bug that causes Yandere-chan to automatically enter selfie mode whenever she takes a photo with a stolen phone. Yeah, I think I see that was fixed. no good. So I fixed the bug before continuing. Next, we have to put Osana's phone on her desk so that she finds it. But how would a new player know where to find Osana's desk? That is... I decided to edit the yeah. text to inform the player that Osana's desk is in classroom 2-1. What I think would have been better to, to show how to find Osana's classroom is to, like, for the game to say, Oh, what you need to do is take a picture of Osana, and that's kind of the tutorial, and then you would see, like, her information on her class and all that, and that's how you'd fi figure out where she was. And that, I think it would have doubled as, like, okay, this is what I need to do. Also, it's a tutorial for the game, but I don't know, maybe... There's other ways. All right, so basically, uh, he's just going through the video saying, like, all the process, which is really interesting because when you make a game, there are so many opportunities for bugs. And I, sp I, I feel, especially with, like, 3D games, with a lot of things moving around and going on, there's a lot of bug opportunities. And, you know, it's and it's crazy. Like, it's it would be so hard for a person to find them. You know, usually you have, like, game testers trying to, and which, in a way, us YouTubers are kind of like game testers and, and bug hunters. You know, we squish the bugs, except I do nothing to help the bugs other than just show them. I have also been spending my time finalizing the cutscenes that play after Osana has been eliminated. I'm really proud of these cutscenes. Oh, I'd love sneak to share peek! Them with you. Sneak peek! But I think it would be better to let you experience- Oh, come on. Do we see- We see Senpai in his Sunday attire here. Look at that! Woo! What a stud! Look at him! He's like, can I get some bread? But I think it would be better to let you experience them within the game instead of spoiling them with- Oh, the these cutscenes look so fresh! It's Boy. very tempting to rush Osana out the door, because I feel guilty for making you wait so long. However, the last thing I should do is release <laughs> Osana in a buggy, janky state that just makes everyone feel disappointed. Dude, she's like tap dancing up here. I want Yandere Simulator's official demo to feel like a big improvement over the debug sandbox. With those new bushes. When you play oh. the official demo, I want you to feel like you're actually playing a slice of the finished game. Instead of just playing the debug sandbox with Osana tacked onto it. A ton of you guys have been asking me, like, why haven't I been playing with Osana? How, how come I haven't been using the mods that you see other YouTubers use to activate Osana in the game? I have specifically been ignoring those things, even though, like, I, I really want to play them because, like, you know, it's not only just more opportunities to make money on Dairy Simulator, but I just... I, I wanted to wait until the actual Osana, you know, was here. And then maybe after she was she's released, we can go play like those kinds of things. But yeah, um, that's why I've been waiting because I want to get the real deal. And uh, I think that you guys would probably like that better than me just playing some random mod, you know? And it would it really wouldn't be the same. I can see why Yandere Dev wouldn't like those kinds of things. To achieve this goal, I want the official demo to have a new look and feel that sets it apart from the debug sandbox. Oh, really? I want to upgrade to the latest version of Unity, revamp the title screen, update the UI, add new post-processing effects, and just give the game a fresh coat of paint. In this kind of reminds you of the older, like, uh, 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 UI of uh, Yandere Simulator, huh? In general. Is that really what it's going to look like? This is something I've wanted to do for a long Interest time. Interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. And I think it's definitely worth pursuing. There is also... One other feature that I want no. to implement before no. releasing Osana. Don't say it! Something that <laughs> I've deliberately avoided mentioning in any of my videos. It's something I've been planning since 2014. Come on! And say Osana it. just wouldn't be complete say without it. it. Say snap! I uh. hope it's uplifting. <laughs> Now, I've been waiting for so long. But yeah, if you add snap to the game, there's gonna be no more YouTuber clickbait for snap mode. Literally, that is like probably the most like thing that all YouTubers have wanted was snap mode. In the words of Sakurai Kojima, creator of Minecraft, a delayed oh. Osana is eventually good, but a rushed Osana is a baka forever.
that's my next tattoo right there. <laughs> now that we've uh, reacted to to some of that, uh, go, you know, go check out the full video because I skipped a butt ton of parts. Yeah. Now, what has been added to the game? It's been a few builds since we played it because there was kind of no reason to play it. And, you know, I, I don't... <laughs> I kind of already feel like we're just like making videos. I don't want to like, I don't want, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to always feel like I'm making videos just to make them. But literally, I try to wait till there's something interesting because uh, half the time we can find a funny bug and it does make it worth it. But yeah, let's take a look at the new school though. It's been like two weeks, I feel like, since I played a, a build of Yandere Simulator, which is like a lifetime in Yandere years. <gasps> bushes! <laughs> Grown man gets excited for bushes. <laughs> Didn't mean to make it that way, but I did, and I'm sorry. See, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, like the bushes are, are, it's interesting because like, it's like, it needs to be part of the design of the game, but also look normal. But yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get used to these bushes, but okay. Everything is starting to intentionally be placed. Oh, and you thought that was it? Oh man, you're mistaken, man. Where have you been? That is not the case at all. Guess what? We can sit down here. Oh, from the debug menu, you can now press the F key to spawn a green screen room near the hedge maze. Oh boy. I was so excited for this when I read this, but I didn't want to make it, make an episode because there was like really nothing else. But I had to look at this. We have a new green screen screen room. Okay, so F in the debug menu. Okay, F. All right, so it's supposed to come next to the hedge maze. Oh my God, there it is. <laughs> I, I thought that this was going to be like, it was going to replace one of the rooms as a green screen room or something like that. Oh my god, it's like I'm in a whole another universe. Gonsi, do some editing magic. Brah, brah, brah. Do it, come on. Yandere Chan could be anywhere right now. If my hair was here, you couldn't even see it. This is gonna make thumbnails so much easier. So I really appreciate Yandere Dev, uh, you know, going the extra distance for uh, y YouTubers. I, I imagine that's why he did this, or like if you just wanna make memes out of anything. Either way, I'm really excited for that. There is now a freeze all students option in the pose mode that will instantly freeze all students in the school at their current location. Yeah, I like it. I like that pose mode is getting some more, uh, you know, attention. Freeze all students. Oh my God, this is gonna be like that one freaking, uh, uh, what was that challenge? We did it before, I just can't remember what it was, where everyone's like frozen and you just move, you know, and it plays those stupid songs. All all around the earth. Nope, don't get copyrighted. Crap, I hate it. <laughs> I wanna stick so many things. Hey, they don't look frozen. Oh, bzz, bzz, we got a bug. Can we do double Easter eggs? I'm gonna, I'm gonna freeze people while they're frozen. Then what happens? So I guess we're about to find out. Time stop. Okay, so what happens if we unfreeze them? Time start. Whoa! <laughs> Why she do? Whoa! <laughs> We did it guys! We found a bug! Everyone is violently spinning in circles! So double stopping time causes everyone to do donuts. I like this. I like this a lot. Again, it's Easter eggs, but you know what? It's still a bug. Bzz, bzz. Wow, what a great play. Is he trying to feed him? <laughs> <laughs> she reminds me of one of those like like trains, you know, that just go on the ground like you get the toy trains you hook up and they just go like crazy like that. No, you, wow, oh my god. Whoa. I flushed her down the toilet on accident. No, where is she? Well, well, they're gonna have to perform a, a memorial for her. She's done. We done flushed her down the toilet. I'm actually really curious if, they're, if the game's gonna think we actually killed her or not because I didn't. I just made her spin a lot. <laughs> oh my god, what happened to this one? Hey, you're not doing your job right. Oh god, this one's gyrating too. Okay, Michael, but is that all? Is that all that's added? Shut up. Yes, no, I mean, no. I got I got something else for you. It is now possible to electrocute students inside of bathrooms instead of only at drinking fountains. How would you do that? Would you have to poison a student in order to make them go to like the bathroom and use the light switch? Is that how you do it? Give me some of that poison. <laughs> what, we can't vibrate in peace? Oh, look at all these spherical bushes. Ugh. If you're not a tall square bush, get out of here. If, you, if you're watching this right now and you're not a tall square bush, please stop watching. Only tall square bushes can are allowed to watch this video. If you're a tall square bush, please use your leaf to smash the like button. Thank you. All right, it's time to go to lunch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't even open the door anymore. They just go right through it. Why is he walking? I guess, I guess I'll have to open the door. I guess everyone's ghosts. Very awkward this is. All right, but what we need is a screwdriver. Looks like Shoko is having an episode here. Stop. Stop spinning. Oh my God. Maybe they're doing more than that. Hey, get a room. I need a screwdriver. I think I'm going to need a screwdriver for this. It is now time for Operation Giggly Poison. Oh, I guess I guess they all didn't show up though. 
I just stole the ring. Okay. I think I broke it too much to where they won't even pull out their food anymore. That's a problem. That is, that is definitely a problem. So it's like, to them, it's not lunchtime. That's a problem. It's hard to poison without lunch. Maybe this is just a new update to where they all drive invisible Mario Karts. No! Clearly, this is an Easter egg. It's just, it, it, okay, it's it's an Easter egg. Woo! New Easter egg! Ah, uh, that's gonna be the title. New Easter egg, Mario Kart? That's it, guys. Yandere has been doing crossovers, okay? Right? He's gonna be doing crossovers for other games. Like, I think Dark Deception's one of them. But guess what? It's Mario Kart. Yandere Kart is happening. This is proof. This is an Easter egg. It's just an unfinished Easter egg that's happening. They're all gonna just driving the, the carts. I mean, I've played the game. I've played a lot. You know, when you get the boxes, you throw like the knives and stuff like that. Instead of turtle shells, you'll throw uh actual turtles. <laughs> this turtle. I mean, it would work. I think I think <laughs> if Yandere is ever gonna make any of those like fan games, or not fan games, but those like random games, there should be Yandere Kart. I'm calling it right now. Hey, is that Osana's book bag? Was that the bite of 87? Osana, Osana's bug bag is so cute. Oh, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm still looking forward to having an actual objective to Yandere Simulator. It's gonna be very exciting. <laughs> a pizza yoga heard a giggle. So that's nice. So they'll actually know when you're giggling now. Okay. All right, hurry, hurry, go, <laughs> go fast. No, 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 nothing, nothing. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them that I did that. <laughs> what a bad friend. He doesn't even tell him that I poisoned his food. He's just like, that's one less art I have to deal with or compete against. All right, so I don't even know if this is right, but I'm assuming that we have to electrocute them doing this. So now they actually go to the bathrooms that are closest to them rather than go across the entire school, which is really stupid. Now, they're, now they actually go to the right bathroom. Wait, how do you electrocute them? I don't think I understand very very clearly, guys. I have the screwdriver, why isn't it working? Okay, I can say, I can say with certainty that this is not right. Turn on, that's off. On, off, turn off, on. Bug. Maybe we need the pipe wrench. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! You can't do it here! Ah, I see! Well, it's a little too late for that. Although, probably not. Okay, though. I have the I have the screwdriver. How come I can't... Wait, where'd the leak go? Oh, I'm in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Wrong bathroom. So, I can create the leak, but where... I have the screwdriver. So how come I can't take the thing off? It's supposed to let me do that, right? I don't understand. Oh, the power strip! I forgot! I totally forgot you needed this. See, it's the little details. See, that's why we need the text up there telling me everything I need. <laughs> you ever just think about stuff? Oh, I I, I can't interact with students at all now. Uh-oh, what have I done? Oh no, I made, a, I made a huge mistake. Look, I'm sure it's exactly the same. They just go bzz, bzz and they die in the bathroom. <laughs> what happens if we freeze all students? Freeze time. Use the demon to kill them all. Wait, no, we can use Easter eggs for that. No, can we? Bam! I gave them all hillies. I think I saved them. <laughs> wait, 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 I gotta try something. I gotta try something. Give me a second. Stay back! <laughs> Alright, I'll go then. I'll go. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. Anyway, yeah, sorry. There wasn't a ton to do, but I just wanted to jump back at the game at least one more time before who knows how long. If you do find bugs, always tell me because we could do some more bugs. But anyway, until next time. Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... Mobius!